uh, and today is his birthday. Happy birthday, Thank Mr. You. Sherman. You're recognized Thank for five you. minutes. You don't get any more just because it's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump said crypto assets can facilitate unlawful behavior, including the drug trade. I ask unanimous consent to put in the record a report by Rand talking about uh, cryptocurrencies uh, use uh, by terrorists. Uh, hopefully without objection. Without objection, such is the order. Not here to be anti-Facebook. I was anti-cryptocurrency back when you were anti-cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency either doesn't work, in which case investors lose a lot of money, or it does achieve its objectives, perhaps, and displaces the U.S. dollar as the, uh, or interferes with the U.S. dollar being the sole reserve currency, or virtually the sole reserve currency in the world. That role of the U.S. dollar saves the average American family $1,000 in interest costs because money pours into the United States because of the role of the dollar. The Federal Reserve can turn over up to $100 billion in profits to the U.S. Treasury that we in Congress spend because of the power of the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar is an excellent currency as a means of, uh, 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 of account. It serves all the needs except it's really bad for tax evaders, drug dealers, terrorists. And that unmet need uh, can be met by a new currency. Um, if we make drug dealers just 10% more effective, how many American deaths is that? over the next decade. Does it compare to the deaths we experience from terrorism? We'll have to see. But those who are introducing cryptocurrency have got to pause and wonder what effect they'll have on the power of the United States to impose sanctions. Right now, Turkey is stopping at 20 miles into Syria, not because of U.S. troops, we, we're out, but because of U.S. sanctions, because of the role of the U.S. dollar. We stand to lose all that because cryptocurrency is the currency of the crypto patriot. Um, Mr. Velasquez pointed out that, you wanna, that you're going to wait for regulators to sign off. Regulators are working with old statutes. Your lawyers are going to show that there's a, a, a loophole in a 1940 Investment Company Act that gets you where you want to go. And the regulators can't stop you, and you're going to call that regulatory approval, as if the people in 1940 knew what you had in mind. What you've made clear is that you will go forward unless Donald Trump-appointed regulators stop you, and in, uh, you will go forward if you can just find loopholes in statutes, but you'll deploy a, mountain of a, a horde of lobbyists to prevent us from writing a new statute. Ms. Maloney asked you a question that you forgot, you still forgot to answer it, but let's be clear. You're going to be making powerful burglary tools and letting your business partners commit the burglary. You are going, with all the power of Facebook, to try to create a new currency. You're going to call it the Libra, but you're the person behind it. That's why it's called, I call it the Zuck Buck. You are going to create it and then say, oh, it's our business partners. Your white paper says your business partners are going to use your tool to have anonymous accounts, and then you have the gall to come here and say you're going to follow all the know your customer. How do you know your customer with an anonymous account? Um, then Mr. Meeks calls your bluff on this idea that you're creating a payment system for the poor and unbanked. The poor and unbanked need pesos. They need dollars that they can buy something at a local store. You've done no effort to help the unbanked anywhere else at any other time. Um, you've, and you should. You should create a payment system with a zero, with a close to zero fee. But the real money is in the tax evaders and to some extent the drug dealers. Uh, I know you've got uh, at least 100 lawyers that will tell you that what you're doing is legal and that you will be safe. But given the harm that this can do, they could be very wrong. And if this explodes the way it might, uh, especially you will not be able to hide behind the idea that you didn't create 
the Libro organization, that it's just your business partners that have wallets designed for drug dealers and terrorists. Um, I, uh, I have a few more things to say, but for the richest man in the world to come here and hide behind the poorest people in the world and say that's who you're really trying to help. You're trying to help those for whom the dollar is not a good currency, drug dealers, terrorists, tax evaders. Thank you. The gentleman from Missouri, Mr. Lukemeyer, is recognized for 